Hey everyone, it's Deanna with Paperback Day Daydreamer. Um, it is Wednesday morning, so you guys are all seeing this video today, and I just made it this morning after getting out of the shower. So, anyways, um, I had a fantastic vacation in New Mexico. Um, I always love visiting there. It doesn't feel like I'm a tourist. I didn't even take any pictures this time. Um, oops, but... I did have a good time. We stayed busy the entire time. I don't think we stopped once to just relax and sit back. And if we did, I don't remember because the rest of the time we were doing stuff. So um, we went to the batting cages one day. Actually, the first day I got there, I ate tons of green chili. Um, I hung out with my friend Robin and went to work with her. Um, Saturday, we played volleyball, sand volleyball, from about 9 o'clock in the morning until about 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, in Kansas, our heat is humid and hot. So in New Mexico, it's hot and, um, you feel like you're in an oven. So I wasn't really used to that. So playing volleyball out in the sun for that long kind of got to me. I guess I got really red in the fa face by the last, you know, game or so. And I was just ready to go home. So, um, I guess everyone else was too. So I wasn't alone in that, but... So we did that on Saturday, and then Sunday um, we went shooting, so I got to shoot my gun for the first time that I bought back in January. Um, some of you guys probably remember me talking about that on Twitter, and so I just wanted to let you guys know I finally did get to go shooting, and that was very exciting. And um, now that school is winding down for me, um, I've decided that I do want to move to New Mexico. Um, I'm just ready for a change. I've been living in this town for years. Basically, my entire schooling has happened here in Manhattan in Kansas and Manhattan, Kansas, Manhattan. In. Um, everyone else has been leaving. All my friends are moving on. I've changed. The town's changing. I'm just ready for a change. And I love New Mexico. I love the environment. I love the people. Um, at least I'll have a support group there. Um, so yeah, so we're going to start making plans now that I have one more semester left, which means I graduate in December. Um, so yeah, we're starting to make plans now on moving out to New Mexico and starting my life after college. Um, yeah, kind of nerve wracking, kind of exciting, um, more exciting than nerve wracking, I should say, but very excited about that. And I will keep you guys updated, of course, on that. Um, I've also been looking at other jobs besides just becoming a cop and doing the canine thing. Um, I know it's going to take me a long time in Albuquerque if I do try to become a cop to become a canine, if I ever can do it. And I love working with animals. And um, so, yeah, I'm looking at some other jobs of what I can do to work with animals instead of um, trying to work up to the canine unit. So we'll see. Um, the cop with canine unit um, emphasis is still on my plate. It hasn't been taken off, but I am being really open-minded about maybe what I will do. So I will keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on with that. Um, so really quick books, and then I have to get going to work, but I really wanted to do this video, let you guys know that I had a blast in New Mexico, ate tons of green chili, stay active the entire time. I don't think we went to bed before 11 o'clock every night and we were up by 7 o'clock every morning so yeah and then my allergies were killing me oh that was probably the worst thing ever like the smoke was so bad from Arizona because I have a huge fire in Arizona for anyone that doesn't know this um, but it's really bad and it's so bad that the wind and the wind was so bad that it was taking the smoke from Arizona all the way up to where we were at in Albuquerque New Mexico so just look at your maps and see where Arizona is and where Albuquerque, New Mexico is. And so it felt like it was so smoky that it felt like downtown Albuquerque was on fire. And we thought we were going to have to evacuate because it smelled so bad and it was so thick in the air. And so um, like by the next morning of all the days that the wind was really bad bringing in all that smoke, there was like ash on the trucks. So like we would walk out in the morning to go to work or whatever and there's like ash covering the trucks not like cover covering but there was still like a nice good film of ash on like the window and the doors and stuff so it was pretty crazy um it was kind of scary a couple times because we 
didn't know where the fire was coming from until the news told us, but the news indicated that because of all the smoke and lovely ash in the air, that it was killing people's sinuses more this year than ever. Yeah. This girl from Kansas got that. Um, yeah, my sinuses were killing me. My nose was running. I was constantly blowing it. I was coughing. I still have the cough, but that's finally going away. Um, yeah, it wasn't very much fun. So that was probably the worst part of my trip, but you know what? I'll take allergies, um, any day as long as I can see, you know, my friends there. So I had a good time. Um, but anyways, book wise. So obviously Deanna didn't get any reading done at all last week. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I want to say I feel bad about that, but I really don't. Um, I just feel really awkward, I guess, because I'm so used to reading, uh, you know, trying to get in two books a week or whatever now that I'm out of school. So didn't get any reading done at all, but I have been reading the Donna Fury book that I told you about that my friend Robin had, um, introduced me to this guy, Ralph Compton, and I'm on to chapter, I think I'm almost to chapter eight now. Yes. I'm almost to chapter eight, almost to page a hundred, and there's, um, almost 500 pages in the book. So, um, I'm really enjoying this actually. Um, it's a lot different than anything we're used to reading ladies. Um, but I'm really enjoying it so far. So I'm planning on finishing this book and putting the review up next week. So I'm giving myself a little time to still relax and get laundry done and blah, 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 blah. So you get random posts for the rest of this week. And this is one of them. Um, so I am going to try to finish that book for sure. And then hopefully... I know you've seen all of these books from my last one, but um, hopefully I can get through this one. My friend Ashley lent me um, so I can get it back to her before they start making their big move. Um, so hopefully that will be up next week as well. And then my next book that I'm planning on reading is Tempest Rising. I know I've told you guys this for almost a month now, um, but yes, I'm planning on reading Tempest Rising. I am planning on getting this review up because I am very excited to read the book. I just haven't been able to sit down and just get into the book. Um, I needed a little bit of break from all my paranormal, urban fantasy, whatever. Um, but I'm really excited about reading it. I know um, Jess with the Spine Cracker loves the series. She's the one I got this book from on one of her giveaways. And... Um, Anyway, so I'm very excited to read this, and hopefully that review will be up in the next couple weeks, um, as well as um, Magic Bites, I think is the first one in that series, which everyone was so excited that I told them I was reading it, but again, I just needed a break from all of that, so I decided to read the Ralph Compton book, because it's just a western. I mean, yeah, there's like a little bit of romance and stuff, but it's mainly about a cowboy um, trying to do vengeance for his family who got murdered and his sister and mom were, um, were raped and killed right in front of his father. His father's dying wishes is that his son revenge the family and kill the seven men that, you know, did that to their family. So that's what the Western's about. So right now, basically, he's riding throughout Kentucky, Kansas, um, Missouri. Uh, I don't really know where he's going, but he keeps riding west. Um, I think he was, I think he made it down to Texas, so he started going south, but anyways, so basically that's what the book's about, you know, guy writing to, you know, revenge his family, so, um, I decided I need a break from all my, you know, romance, urban fantasy stuff, and so I'm gonna finish that book first, and then we'll go from there, so, anyways, again, New Mexico is a blast, um, I'm hoping to call it home, um, in the next few months, less than a year, oh god, but anyways, I will keep you guys up to date on that again. Um, I'll let you know how everything's going with the job hunting and moving and all that fun stuff. So um, thanks a lot, you guys. I hope you guys have had a good you know, past week and a half. Sorry I haven't been around as much. Um, have a lot of blog hopping to do. Um, I've got lots of blog posts to read, and I really need to start doing that. So hopefully today that'll happen. Um, and hopefully I'll get caught up with everyone by this weekend so that I can relax a little bit more next week. So I'll talk to you guys later. I'll sh I'm sure a another post will go up, um, a vlog post will go up this Saturday. So I will talk to you sooner than later. <laughs> Have a good day, you guys. Bye.